my name is Ruth Gravel. I work as a specialist dyslexia teacher and I work at Right Mind in Chelmsford where we assess for dyslexia. Um, and here's a checklist for adults. This checklist was adapted from the British Dyslexia Association website. Um, we adapted that in 2018. So it's quite an old checklist really, um, but dyslexia doesn't change. It's just technology and things like that change. So that's why it needs a little bit of updating sometimes. Please tick the checklist with some consideration of your history, as many adults may have overcome some of these indicators, such as learning a strategy from, from left and right. It is subjective. Just give this your uh, gut feeling for answers, uh, wherever you feel yes or no, um, or in between if you prefer. Do you find difficulty telling left from right? Again, this was the example have you learned a strategy? So if I say to you, please put up your left hand, did you instantly know which was your left hand or did you have to think about it? And if you had to think about it, I would suggest you write yes there. Next question. Is finding your way to a strange place confusing? Um, do you dislike reading aloud? Do you take longer than you should to read a page of a book? Do you find it difficult to remember the sense of what you have read? Do you dislike reading long books? Is your spelling poor? Do you consider your spelling to be poor? And there again, um, maybe your spelling isn't poor. Maybe you've spent hours and hours uh, developing your spelling skills so you, you may have well compensated <laughs> you may have done really well there but you know have you had to work really hard at your spellings is your writing difficult to read do you get confused if you have to speak in public or perhaps it's something you've worked on do you sometimes find it difficult to remember new names Do you sometimes have difficulty saying longer words, such as preliminary, millennium, philosophical, contemporaneous? Do you find it difficult to do sums in your head? Do you tend to get numbers mixed up when using the phone or any other kind of digital gadget? Do you find it difficult to say the months of the year forwards? Do you find it difficult to say the months of the year backwards? Do you tend to mix up dates and times and miss appointments? Or if you don't, is that because you've got a really good method? So you've developed a strategy. Would you naturally mix those up? When writing, do you frequently find yourself making mistakes? Do you find forms difficult or confusing? Do you mix up numbers like 95 and 59? Did you find it hard to learn your multiplication tables at school? Several yes responses may indicate you experience a dyslexic type of learning difference. Right Mind.life works in association with educational psychologists, specialist teachers and therapists. The services we provide include dyslexia assessment, tuition, support, and free advice for children and young people and adults. Um, so for further advice, screening, or assessment, please visit www.rightmind.life. You can email me, ruth at rightmind.life, or telephone or text 07 and uh, thank you. I hope you found that helpful.